hello, my name is Siham Said uh, from the Bedouin people here in Nuweiba, especially from uh, the Muzaina tribe. Like we can say like Egyptian Bedouin women. I studied political science at British University in Egypt, in Cairo. Uh, my journey of education like started in class four in primary school instead of class one, because a situation I will never, never forget. Like there is like a, a, a teacher like a choose a, a student to read in front of the whole class. And in the time I decided to be the fir for the first time to read in front of all the whole class. So I decided to raise my hand like this and then I was nervous and I was like, uh, so see how much you are doing. So, and then the, 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 the teacher chose me to read in, the whole, in front of the whole class. So I read and everything is good. And I, after I done, what? I did it. I finally read in the whole class. I finally, everyone like I participated finally in the class. And from that beginning and from that moment, I started to, to care about education. I started to care about uh, studying. And also I remember that uh, there are two groups of the Bedouin, of the, uh, of the students, where there are uh, Bedouins and non-Bedouins. And the Bedouins, they are, don't care about education, participation in the class and so on. And like and from this moment, I inspired uh, other Bedouin girls to be participate in the class. Uh, there is a challenge actually uh, before going to college, which is related to the Bedouin societies here, like uh, not allowing girls to go education and so on. So this is raise the questions and comments uh, for me, like before going to Cairo and study there. Like, oh, Siham is going to, uh, to study there alone and so on, and why? And uh, the most uh, comment or the most famous comment of this is, uh, stay here, what you are going to, to do in college and so on. Like, uh, for at the end, you will go to your husband's house and so on. And this is kind of comment, I didn't like it so much. But this is kind of a challenge that I faced before going to Cairo. This is the bad part. There's a good part, which I really, really thank God for it, uh, which is giving me a father, like he, he let me uh, to be free, he let me to go to Cairo and study there and so on. This is, uh, I really, really thank God uh, for this. Is. When I go to Cairo, I also there's like a kind of culture shock there. The people or the simplicity of Nuweiba is not like in Cairo, the crowded and the lot of people. And the, how the people is here, thinking like they are simple in thinking but people in Cairo like they are complex and look, not thinking like here and also how they wear their style of wearing for example we are wearing like a bay and the dress uh, uh, coat but in Cairo there is a jeans and so there is different kind of, of life Uh, I got in touch with Habiba uh, through Yasmin, Mr. Magid's daughter. When I was uh, 12 years old, like I came here to sell beadwork and so on. Uh, she teach us uh, how to pray in the right way, like doing this is and doing this is. But after that, I, I never come back to Habiba. And at the last, uh, in the last summer, I graduate and I come back to Nueva again. And they invite me to uh, a woman dinner here in Habiba and so uh, uh, I know that uh, they told me that Yasmin there so yes Yasmin, Yasmin there I want to meet her and so on and I came and actually met her in the time I connected with Lorena Mr. Magid's wife and then she connected me to uh, Mr. Magid from this moment I started to work for Habiba doing projects uh, for the Bedouin community and how they are care about the Bedouins uh, the project that they developed that uh, will develop the people here's life and the livelihood. And also they're trying to make Nuweiba as a sustainable model. Uh, yes, it's mitigated in many ways. For example, in the summer, uh, most of the families go to the mountain and stay all the night there. 
uh, without using electricity. I they just using the fresh air and sleep there. And also in the winter, uh, also most of the families go to the mountain with goats and so on. And they use electricity, use uh, solar panels uh, just for their basic needs. Uh, they also are like farming in organic way without chemicals because they, uh, they love the healthy food, they love uh, the product without uh, chemicals. So this is kind of simple life. I, I believe in this is kind of simple life uh, that the Bedouin people uh, live. And this is could mitigate the climate change and reduce carbon in the air. Actually, my dream for my community to keep this simple life and healthy life and preserve our traditions and customs here in Nueva. Oh, 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 oh,